Hey everyone and welcome to another Firefly Studios video. Aaron here with another episode of the Stronghold Showcase, where we show the best of the best when it comes to fan-made Stronghold maps, scenarios and sieges. But this episode is a special one, as with both the Game of Thrones Season 8 premiere just behind us and my desire to spice the series up, we're going to be doing a Westeros special. Just featuring maps which recreate castles, keeps and battles from the books and the show. Enjoy. First up we have two siege maps from talented map maker Lord Nicolaus I. Moat Caelan and the Twins, both riddled with bloody tales during the Game of Thrones series. Moat Caelan will be our first port, or castle of call. Cool. Sometimes called the Moat, it is an ancient stronghold within the Game of Thrones history, built by the first men on the northern edge of the Neck. Moat Caelan is an interesting affair. Lord Nicholas takes advantage of the fortress's described location in the books as it's noted to be the only safe passage through the swamps of the Neck. This is then translated into a hazardous or delightful surprise depending on whether you are attacking or defending, as the marshland in Stronghold 1 proves extremely hazardous for any forces looking to lay siege on any castle built upon it. There is however a narrow passage to traverse if you're looking to up your unit micro game, but this is both risky and difficult to do. Lord Nicholas balances this out well though, with the defender given a garrison on the smaller scale compared to what most Stronghold fans are used to. So pick your targets carefully and prioritise who you want to see clambering in the crimson mud. On to the twins, sometimes called the crossing, or should I say, double crossing. Without spoiling anything, this harrowing pair of great towers is host to some of the most shocking events in the entire Game of Thrones saga. Home of House Frey of the Riverlands, it serves as a major landmark of the River Trident, as the only place of crossing for miles and miles around. But when in Stronghold, Lord Nicolaus has to make some apparent compromises. So while it doesn't reflect absolute accuracy when compared to the twins in the books or the show, with the two towers being quite different when in the books they're meant to be nearly identical, and a gatehouse placed within the middle of the bridge which certainly isn't there in the show, these changes make up for it in terms of playability, as it adds some variety when it comes to sieging each side of the crossing, and gives the defender an extra bit of breathing room to organise any retreating troops using the gatehouse as cover. Compromises or not, both these maps are terrific and not only look amazing but play fantastically as well. So we dare you not to turn up the reins of Castamere while you slaughter the men attempting to capture your castle. Moving on to Stronghold 2 Steam Edition and we have a map that has it all. This Kingmaker map made by Christopher911 is your go-to if you want to conquer the entirety of Westeros, from the Wall to Dawn. Obviously not as detailed as our previous maps as Christopher has to represent multiple kingdoms and castles, but this 4 player romp will allow you to take charge of the North, East, West and South in your search for the Iron Throne. Each starting position varies and offers a multitude of playthroughs if you wish to switch alliances between sessions which we advise against if you want to keep your gentleman's member. So build up your own version of Winterfell, King's Landing, Casterly Rock or Sunspear. That's the place where that really boring subplot happened with this dude and these ladies. Yeah, let's, uh, let's move swiftly on. What better place to hold out against Mance Raider's army of wild things than in Sasha Wind's The Great Wall? This 1v1 will pit one player representing the Night's Watch against one other representing the wild things. If you want to go full thrones, you can adopt armies of normal, everyday murderers, thieves and Jon Snows against the rivaling force of giants and barbarians, as seen in Sasha Wynn's screenshots here. Now obviously, while we do have dragons and giants in Stronghold Legends, purpose enough to load up our fantasy spin-off if you haven't already, we don't have climbing units capable of scaling walls this tall. So Sasha Wynn's interpretation instead gives the defender a single passage to secure. Last but certainly not least we have a Pike Castle Invasion. This recreation of the greatest fortress in the Iron Islands by Constantine is technically a skirmish map but is designed to be played as an invasion. Unfortunately you can only play as the defender 
but it still proves to be a fun little diversion if you're on a losing streak in multiplayer. Although quite a change in terrain, the map reflects Pike's impressive defensive structure, layout and elevation. And with a very limited amount of time before your chosen AI attacker invades, you must populate its tower and clifftop walls and towers with men and siege engines alike if you have any hope of repelling any besiegers. The map is designed with multiple defensive strategies in mind. Either front end your defenses at the main keep and courtyard, move every single one of your troops to the final tower, or leave your defenses layered in hope that eventually one too many bridges will end in your besiegers succumbing to the drowned god in a bloody death. So that was another episode of the Stronghold Showcase with some added Westerosi spice. As always, let us know in the comment section below if you've got any maps yourself or know of any you'd like me to check out. Especially if they're Game of Thrones ones, because I'm in the mood now, episode 3 coming up, I'm super excited. And if you liked the video, as always, make sure you leave a like and subscribe here on YouTube for more Stronghold goodness every single week on Thursdays. See you next week.